Hurricane Lily's winds whipped Louisiana yesterday. 100 plus mile per hour winds tumbled trucks and sheared off power lines all across the Gulf Coast. My chase partner, Patrick Marsh, set out with me to research and document Lily's landfall. We watched and sat amazed as a small bird battled for a place in the sky. Although Lily had other ideas for the bird. We clocked winds at a constant 50 miles per hour. Now some gusts were over 90 miles per hour and we had to brace for each additional blast. Most if not all businesses had boarded up in anticipation of Lily's 145 mile per hour winds. Hurricane Lily made landfall early this morning with winds gusting up to 100 miles per hour. However, it was far less than the 140 mile per hour winds that we were expected to see. What you're witnessing now is hurricane force winds. Thankfully, the storm weakened prior to the landfall, but 100 mile per hour winds are anything but weak. By day's end, 243,000 people would be without power. Navigating through a littered roadway and armed with a global positioning system, we advanced to our target the eye of Hurricane Lily. We positioned ourselves to be directly in the eye's path. It was here when we clocked our maximum gust near 100 miles per hour. With the storm chaser in park, the wind was actually able to inch us forward. After about an hour of hurricane force winds, we began to see the ill-defined eye wall through sunshine breaking through to the surface. Our ears even popped as the pressure lowered, confirming the eye's approach. The gyrating system produced majestic spiral bands around the center but the calm didn't last for long. Minutes later, the wind roared back to life, this time not from the east, but from the west. Structures that had survived the first round were no match for the second. The wind seemed to ignore all stop signs and Lily's windstorm continued for two hours more before finally coming to a close. We left the hurricane-stricken area with a renewed respect for the wind and a greater understanding of severe weather. Reporting from the Gulf Coast of Louisiana, Garrett Lewis, 5 News.